the very beginning of this revelation consists of the fact that a person through his willpower begins to imagine to himself that everything that is around him is a picture that the Creator creates for him. This entire world in its 3D uh, way, the way it appears to me, with all of these people around me, with everything that occurs around me, all of this is what the Creator draws before my eyes. That's first of all. Second, the fact that I exist with my qualities, my desires, and I wish to perceive in some way this world, the way I perceive it, all of my initial uh, initial uh, points with which I perceive it and view it, all of this is also planned ahead of time by the Creator. Which is why this external picture of the world, everything that's around me and everything that's inside of me, and everything that occurs in a connection between my inner qualities and these external influences, which is called the world, all of that is from the Creator. So, where am I? I am nothing more than an effort, my own effort, to hang on to this picture that everything that is drawn before me is from the Creator, everything that is within me, all of the qualities that I have with which I perceive and sense this world and analyze it somehow, all of this also comes from the Creator. Lesson 4. And my efforts. And perhaps my efforts also come from the Creator, who awakens me, pushes me towards searching for the source of life, source of all existence, why everything occurs the way it does around me. This also comes from Him. So what remains? What remains is a very interesting uh, summary, summation, composite rather my efforts to hang on to this picture in the fact that it comes from him.